Now if you know me or you've seen me in any of my videos, you'll know that I don't need a nose extension. But this does. Oh wait on. Better. G'day guys, today we're taking another look at the Milwaukee M12 Rivet Tool. Today we are going to replace the nose on this thing. And I'm going to give you a little tutorial. Not that I have ever done it before, but hey, what the hell, let's give it a go. I've used this thing quite a bit actually since I got it, a lot more than I thought I would have. And one thing I've noticed, this is a bit too short. It's a bit too close to here. You want to get in long, you end up hitting here and here. So I wanted the nose extension. Let's just empty out this. What a wasteful thing rivets are, eh? I mean, look at all that. That needed an empty. Let's get that out of the way for the moment. And we will have a look at the new nose attachment. So this is part number 48-95-0100. I will put a link down in the description if I can find one to this part. I'm assuming there's instructions in here on how to install it. Let's have a look. There it is, the instructions. Well, even in English, that's always a bonus. Read and understand all instructions before use. Yeah, blah de blah. Number one, remove battery pack. Obviously. Number two, remove the standard length nose from the housing. Just unscrew me nose. Oh yeah. Number three, remove the guide with jaws. Push a tube and spring from the tool. Retain all pieces for future use. The guide, jaws and spring will be used in the extension reassembly. Remove it. Doesn't say how to remove it. But there is a couple of flat points here, so presumably we can unturn the bugger. Let's lay out the pieces that come with the extension. This is the extension guide. Yeah, Yucky. That looks like something from a good night out. The oily nose piece. And this happy little fellow is the pusher tube. This is of course hollow. Now you'll need the spring and the jaws by the looks from the original nose. It's a real shame they don't give you a new set of jaws because that's the bit that's going to wear out. So I was trying to undo it from this point here but you should use the flats up here and undo it here and it comes open easy. This one here, hard as a bastard. That's got the jaws. Take this out. We don't need that anymore. We're going to replace that with the long one here. But we will use the same spring. So we will put not the spring out. Screw this extension here on. Make sure there's not too much dust and shit gotten on it. There we go. There's no flats on that end to tighten it, but there is some up here. We'll just give it a very light tweak. Yeah, all good. We will then thread our spring onto our tube here. Shove that in. Shove that in. There we go. All good. Then we get our jaws out and we've got to poke them up the end of the other one. These are three separate pieces simple as that. I don't know how much those are to replace. Presumably they're readily available because those are going to wear out quick smart, especially from all the comments I've gotten. How the hell are you meant to get them down there? Hey, It's going to be fun, isn't it? What happens if I just drop them in like that? Will I get lucky? One. That's a bit shit. They could have come preloaded with those jaws, eh? So A, you don't have to do this bullshit. And B, you had a spare set of jaws. Am I doing this stupid? Huh? Leave your comments below on how you would have done this. Yeah, not working too fucking well. 
Ah, you stupid bastard. Should have left them in there and you put this whole bit on. Then put that over the top, you friggin' idiot. Oh, it should be a little bit easier to get them back in there. <laughs> what a muppet. Much easier to get those back in there. Now, screw that on there. Mindful of shit getting in there. Give that a slight tweak. Eek. Then we just whack that over the top. Bob's your uncle. Look at the length of it now. Woohoo! Boy oh boy. That's something to be proud of. Insert your own phallus base joke now. Right, I'm going to wipe some of this oil off here. It's a little bit too much for me. Oh, this is another bloody joke, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. It's just a quiet night in the garage while the wife's out. So, does this riveter still pop? Let's have a look-see. She certainly does. And these still don't fall down the back like they should. Oh well. At least I can get into tight spots now to do a bit of popping. I mean riveting. Right, make sure you don't lose these bits. Thanks for watching, guys. That may have been some help for you, may not. Oh well. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. You'll find a subscription button below. In the description, you will also find other reviews, including my full review on this rivet tool. This channel is my B channel. Kind of think of it like Instagram. My main channel is down in the description also. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you again soon. Well, that was a bit different. And cut.